I'm with uh, Will Perrin at the People Power to Change workshop that we're running with Big Lottery um, Fund. And uh, Will kicked off with a question to Big, nice provocative one. Are you prepared to stop being quite so big and become a little bit smaller? What do you mean by that, Will? Well, the real answer to so many social problems lies in the communities that suffer them. Um, I've got years of experience of grassroots community work in very challenging neighbourhoods, and most recently um, we've been helping people find a voice online to, to express themselves, um, whether it's on the web or in Facebook or in Twitter. And we find that there's some fantastic conversations come out of that, conversations that you'd never see in a grant application, that you'd never see specified in a strategic framework call for funds, owed you nonsense stuff um, that we see from so many big funders. And I think it's fantastic that you've gathered a very, very good crowd here today, David, you and Drew, um, because we've got a lot of quite radical innovators in the room and that BIG is prepared to listen. It's never easy for a large organisation that gives money away and makes grants and is very powerful in, in, in the nation as a whole, actually, to start to think about how to do things differently. And the real trick for them is not to be so big, but it's to be an awful lot smaller. And are some ways in which they can start doing that? Is it about major change in the grant regime or... Um, could they get out there encouraging people, having some conversations and um, showing what you mean? Well, at the heart of it is um, en enabling people to get their voice heard. Um, the lottery, it helps transform thousands of lives in every year in communities uh, the length and breadth of, of, of uh, Britain. Um, but those individual voices are never really heard outside their application forms. Um, and everybody knows that the grant assessment process is a very tedious, form-filling exercise. The real trick for BIG is to unleash those voices, to allow people to be, to be heard and to get their voices out there when they're applying for grants. So why don't we have um, a, a version of money-saving expert for people applying to the lottery? Or, I don't know, I, uh, let's talk about lottery or something like that, which can have a big section in it for grant makers. So thousands of people come together and talk about um, uh, the applications they're putting into the lottery and big could also, or small as we're calling it from now on, small could then um, put its own staff in there to help advise and nudge people in the right direction. Um, and then at the other end of the scale, once people have got the money and they're, they're doing things in their community, give them the ability to talk online. We now f uh, talk, about, uh, talk about local, we find in communities that people generally have the skills they need uh, to express themselves online now. It's Britain in 2011, they can do this. They just need to be given a nudge to do it. So people, um, you can liberate thousands of voices all over the country, um, in, in, uh, in, uh, that will 99.9% .9 of which will be in praise of the lottery. Well, I hope one of that idea will surface on uh, one of the charts that people are preparing. There's one um, going up here. And uh, so I encourage you to go and uh, pitch in your particular poster. <laughs> Thanks very much, David.